Yeah, speaking of Melissa McCarthy, um, our last bit of movie news today. Um, she's going to be in Thor, Love and Thunder. Who, who saw that coming? Now, apparently she and her husband uh, put out kind of a, I, I guess it went viral, uh, a viral video of the two of them speaking directly to Marvel Studios or Kevin Feige or the filmmakers, uh, Taika Waititi saying that they want to be in Thor Love and Thunder. Um, because, I mean, who who wouldn't? Who doesn't? Melissa McCarthy is, is a comedy genius. Um, even though, you know, this uh, this trailer for uh, Thunder... Um, uh, Thunder Patrol? My goodness. Why can't I think of the name? Thunder Force. Uh, even though Thunder Force uh, doesn't look that good, she's still a comedy genius. Well, apparently their prayers have been answered, or rather their YouTube uh, viral video has been answered, and now Melissa McCarthy is going to be playing the stage actor version of Hela in Thor Love and Thunder. You know, we've we previously talked about how Matt Damon uh, was going to Australia to film Thor 4. Which begged the question, is he reprising his role as, like, actor Loki? Um, it, or, or is he going to take on a more substantial role? Well, guess what? Uh, some set photos have leaked. And, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at some of those right now. Uh, set photos have leaked. Um, there's uh, someone who has obviously taken a few set photos here. We see, uh, you know, we'll go through uh, one by one. But here is uh, Chris Hemsworth's brother, uh, Le Luke, Liam. I can't remember. I can't tell the difference between the two. One of the other Hemsworth brothers with Melissa McCarthy. You can see that they're done up as Thor, as Hela. Um, uh, let's scroll on through. Here we have Sam Neill reprising his role as actor Odin, and there's Matt Damon done up in costume as Loki, as actor Loki. Uh, and then we go to the last set photo, and here they are on a stage, um, filming the stage production of whatever story that they're going to be telling in new, uh, presumably, uh, this is taking place in new Asgard. I would think, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so so there is here these are just some of the set photos that have leaked. Um so we do now have confirmation that first of all, Matt Damon is not going to be taking on a different role in uh Thor Love and Thunder. He is reprising his role as um as actor Loki and Melissa McCarthy got her wish. She's playing Hella in the stage theatrical actor version within the MCU of Hela. Um, I, I think this is fun. I, I It's just it's just cheesy. It's silly. It's fun. It's very much in line with what uh, director Taika Waititi has been doing. Um, in, like his style, his sentimentality, his brand of comedy. I, I mean, it, it, this is not going to make the movie good. It's not going to make the movie bad. But I do think this is going to be just a fun, lighthearted moment. Um... And, you know, there is something about, uh, you know, I think we all love the dream of saying, ooh, I want to do this thing, you know? And working hard, putting in the effort to make your dreams come true. I To me, that's kind of the overall message here is, you know, Melissa McCarthy is not just some schmo off the street saying, ooh, I want to be in a Marvel movie. And now it happened. She put in the time, she put in the effort, she put in the work to hone her craft to become who she is and what she's not just good at, but great at, and then puts herself out there even more and says, I, I, I would love to do this thing. I would love to be a part of this thing. And 99, tens, 99 times out of 100, nothing ever comes to fruition because of that. Um, but what I love about this situation is that the stars aligned in her favor. She put in the time, she put in the effort to be great at what she does. And then she put herself out there to say, if there's a part for me, if there's a role, I would love to be a part of this. I would love to just do a cameo, like a cameo, a larger role. I don't care what it is. Uh, Stephen Colbert did the same thing with um, 
Lord of the Rings. When they were filming The Hobbit, uh, I think it was in the second Hobbit movie, he had a really tiny part where the, I, I want to say he had a speaking role of like one line or something. But Stephen Colbert loves The Hobbit. He loves Lord of the Rings so much that he like begged Peter Jackson to put him in the movie. And Peter Jackson did. And it wasn't a gratuitous cameo. Like, if you didn't know that that was Stephen Colbert, you wouldn't think anything of it. Um, no, of course, we're all going to look at uh, uh, Melissa McCarthy as Hella and be like, oh, of course, she's playing. Oh, that's Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, because Th that's the joke. That It's embedded into the DNA of the film itself. That's why it works. That's why it's going to work. Um but yeah, I love Taika Waititi for doing this. I love Melissa McCarthy for doing this. Um, I don't see anything but an upside here. But maybe you guys have a different take on it. Are you have Are you maybe experiencing Melissa McCarthy fatigue? Do you think that this was too gratuitous of a cameo for her to do? Um, I think it's wonderful. But like I said, maybe many of you, some of you have a different take on the situation. What are your thoughts about a blout, a blout, Melissa McCarthy, uh, being in Thor love and thunder, jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like, if you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Pee Wee Herman would want you to do. Ha! 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 <laughs>